going? Yep. <laughs> hey, uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, so we finished the bike finally. I know there's somebody in the comments that says it's going to take me five years to finish any of these. Well, we got one done. So it wasn't really that hard. Um, so we finished RL20B. Uh, we propped it up here on the bench, you know, making it look professional. Um, but yeah, uh, RL20B is finished. Um, actually, I have to do one thing to it. So what drives me nuts now is uh, if anybody's familiar with like these older tires here, I got these on because like Eddie Roman, Pete Augustine, a bunch of the dirt bros used to ride these around like 89, 90. And you used to be able to just order them and they had nothing. And now they come with a little label on them. And I tried using the heat gun to get that peeled off. And uh, I don't know, that one's not working that good. I gotta do something to black these things out because it drives me nuts just looking at that. Uh, I guess I'll cross that road. Cross that road in a little, but. Uh, so here, I'll give you a quick rundown of the bike. Uh, Redline RL20B, I believe this is an 88. Uh, quick story, this is my best friend Raymond's bike. We grew up in Prineville, Oregon. He passed away when we were like in our late 20s. Uh, about five years ago, my buddy Jim said he found a couple frames of ours in his barn in Redmond, and this was one of them. So I wanted to build it up. Um, I wasn't gonna build it up like Raymond because a few of my friends rode this and it, it went through a bunch of iterations. So. I just wanted to give it that kind of a early 90s dirt bros feel. Like it looks like something you take out to Mission Hills and ride. So we've got some real ratty forklifter bars. Uh, we've got a Haro Group 1 stem on there. Um, it's kind of crazy on the stem. The uh, shaft is so long, I can't slam it all the way. So I think it down the line, I may change the stem because I really hate having the stem up at all. And anybody that, you know, actually rode back then, I know there's so many damn posers out there that do builds and their stems are this high and their gyro cables are, you know, running behind the crossbar, but no one is going to run their stem that high unless they had an ACS, you know, if you, unless you had a rotor and you're going to bend it. So one day we'll change that. Um, we got the red line forks on it. These things are clapped out. These things were solid rust when I got them. They were on a tramp bike for 25 years. They had foam wrapped around them. Did what I could to get some rust off. I, I'll probably do a little bit more down the line, but uh, they're the right forks for it. I'd love to have a nice pair so I could actually kind of ride this thing because I'm a little sketched out with how rusty they are. Uh, we got some Redline 48s. These are kind of the Paragon copy ones. Uh, they got array of rims on them. Uh, we did go, I know I asked everybody, we went with the uh, Brian Blyther Yin and Yang Tex Brocket. I still kind of feel like the Skyway one would look a little better, but I have another bike that we're gonna work on that I know the Skyway one would look better on. And I, this still does look good on there. Um, we got some Takagi uh, one-piece cranks. We've got some Mongoose pedals from the early 90s. These would've came on like the Solutions. Uh, some crappy seat post. Uh, we got a Dynamax seat. The, the seat guts are coming out. It's got a dope Varney seat on it, and this is my buddy Eli's seat in high school, so I was hyped to ride this. Uh, got the sickest seat clamp, Paragon seat clamp. Uh, we got some Amy's on it. We got one of those ACS levers that's super long. I think Ron Wilkerson and a few of the dudes that rode for ACS rode these. They're pretty shitty, but it looks good on the bike. So uh, went with some ACS 860s in the back. Um, those brakes are great. They work super good. And yeah, that's kind of a little rundown of the bike. Um, I'm gonna pull it down. Ugh. You know, kind of just a nice rattle trap. Like, I'm not really trying to uh, make these bikes. I know some people will go on, you know, and look at my bikes and they're not supposed to look like Skittles. They're not supposed to look like candy. These are just BMX bikes. Yeah, some of them are crazy colors from the, the, the 80s, but you know, I rode then and I want the bikes to look like my friends and my, my bike, you know, when we were younger, I want it to look like you came over to the house and the bikes can be laying outside and it looks like somebody rode them. I don't need some like perfect carpet queen bike because that's not realistic. So 
yeah, there's that thing. Uh, hopefully, you know, this gives off a good, you know, San Diego vibe at that time. And uh, I mean, I, I'm super happy with it. Maybe we'll change some stuff in the future, but for now, I feel like th this rig is done. So yeah, I'm gonna park it over here. Uh, we'll film a few more close-ups and we'll call this one good and we'll be on to the next one.